we are about to do such a big Ulta haul. Welcome back, or welcome if this is your first time visiting my channel. I'm Rach and I do a bunch of beauty reviews, but today we're doing a haul. So recently I had a grad party about a week ago and I got about $200 of like gift cards from Ulta from my family because I think by now we all know that I love Ulta. So I'm doing a little haul and showing all the things I got. So a little backstory before I start. I have two products from Florence by Mills that I absolutely love and I know people go back and forth about Florence by Mills because you know is it good or is it bad or whatever but I wanted to try it and I have two products as of right now I have or before I went shopping I had the lip mask and the lip oil and I love both but that's just like lip products I haven't tried skincare really so I decided I'm gonna try it so I'm gonna show you what I got a little bit at the end of the video but that's the reason I went but I'll show you a couple more things before that so first starting with something that I like actually really needed, I went and worked for five weeks recently. I like stayed somewhere and then like worked all day and I used all of my makeup wipes and all my makeup remover and all of that. And if you use the Garnier makeup remover, you know that that stuff is so hard to close without it leaking. So unfortunately I had to throw mine away cause I could not travel and bring it home. So I bought a new one, but they only had the mini ones. So I got the mini one of that and it says all in one waterproof. Oh, that's great. I have the pink one. So I have never bought the blue one. I don't know if they're any different, but it is all in one removes makeup, even waterproof mascara. That is really awesome because I use the better than sex waterproof mascara and I absolutely love it. Hands down, best mascara. I will never switch. And I stand by that. I definitely will try different mascaras, but I definitely will not switch. I love that mascara so much. Um, but it cleanses, smooths, and no rinse and no harsh rubbing. My face gets so red, I couldn't even tell you. It is crazy how, face my, how red my face is. How face my red is, what am I saying? Um, but I, my face gets so red. I like tried to put makeup on this morning. My face was red. It was insane. But this is the makeup remover that I got. So we got a little one and that's fine. I'll get a big one at some point. But that was like the one little like pickup that I needed. And then I went crazy. So the next thing I got, I also saw this on Instagram a lot, and I use Tree Hood Scrubs a lot. If you follow me on TikTok, my at is also the same as YouTube. But if you follow me on TikTok, you know that I love Tree Hood. I love it. Love it. Love it, love it. No words, literally. I have like a hundred Tree Hoods. I think my sister and my mom keep wondering why I buy them. So many of them, just because I like my options, and I like trying all the different ones but they recently came out with foaming gel wash and I had to get it. I, I had to, like it was, it was a must. So Moroccan Rose is definitely my favorite tree hut scent. So I got the Moroccan Rose body wash and I will also let you know how this one goes cause I've never tried this before, but I know I can like open it and smell it, but I'm kind of nervous because there's a seal on it and I don't want to open the seal and have it explode all over my floor because I have carpet. So yeah, I got the Moroccan Rose Foaming Gel Wash and it was, I think it was like literally $8. It wasn't even that expensive. Um, it has a hydrating oil complex Moroccan argan oil and rosehip oil and apparently it foams I don't know if it's like shower gel or body wash that's what I'm still trying to figure out but you know that I love bath and body works as well if you follow me on tiktok 
So I have so many different shower gels, so I guess this will add on to that collection and it will be like an in-between. But it also, I'm like holding it up to my light and it's kind of pink. It's like actually kind of cool. Um, it also has, now I'm actually reading the ingredients on the back. It has avocado, kiwi, and argan, or, sorry, orange oils. Not me saying argan, ew. Um, and so many big words that I can't pronounce. So yeah, this was the second thing I got. It is the, again, the Moroccan Rose Tree Hut oil. So this one, the third one, my friend has been seeing this all over her Instagram and absolutely crazy. She has seen this and knows I love my body scrubs. Like I said, I love my body scrubs. And I went to, I saw it on her Instagram, it came up on my TikTok, and it was like a while ago, but when it did come up on our TikToks, we were like, we need to have this. So we went to a couple Altus together. We could not find this product anywhere. And we were so mad because we were like, why can't we find this product? And we, I finally found it with my sister and I bought it and I sent her a picture of it and she was so crazy about it. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe you have it. It is the Truly Moon Rocks Whipped Body Scrub. So great. Also, most of the body scrubs and products that Truly has for body care, whatever, has CBD in it. I'm like, not about that. So... I found one without, and it smells like the universe's best scrub ever, literally. It has blue tansy, lavender, dream catcher oil, and jojoba oil boost. If you know what dream catcher oil is, can you please tell me what that is? Because I have no idea what that means. Yeah, no idea what that means. I'm sorry. But it is the... Moon Rocks Whipped Body Scrub, and I do have the Cocoa Cloud Body Butter, love it, 100% get it. The only thing with Truly is they're kind of pricey, but I believe it was like $20, which is like definitely not Tree Hut. Tree Hut is like also $8 all the time, but yeah, this was my like favorite this was my like, oh my god, I need this type thing on Instagram. And here we are about four months later and I found it. So Moon Rocks by Truly, literally the best. I love it so much. And yeah, so that was that one. That's what I got. Here's what it looks like again if you want to get it. I know I, yeah. It was... I definitely know how much it was, won't come to my brain right now, pretty sure it was like $20, but yeah. Okay, so that was item number three, and now the last three things, actually wait, just kidding. One more before we get to Florence, I just totally mixed up everything that I had for a minute. I know, so I've been recently doing research on Jack Black and all of their products and their men's products whatever but like i'm not a person like i don't care if they're men or women's products if they work for you they work for you like totally use them but i have seen a bunch of people also on tiktok using the jack black lip balm and they said it was really good so i decided to buy it and try it at crimes and that was really weird um i went to buy it and I did not know they had like so many different flavors of this. I got grapefruit and it has an SPF of 25. Lip balm with any type of SPF, gold. Literally so amazing. Um, my only thing is that it comes kind of small and I feel like I wish that it was like a little bit bigger, but the applicator, I'll take the little top off. The applicator looks like that. I don't know if you can see that, but the applicator sort of looks like that. So it's kind of like a lip gloss, but I used it this morning after I did my like morning skincare routine and I was floored. 
I, I love it. Now I see why like so many people like this, but it was probably about $5. I can look up the prices at the end of everything, but that was my fourth little item that I got at Ulta was the Jack Black lip balm in grapefruit. And also from me talking, you can probably tell that I'm a little sick. I am, and I haven't been able to smell. I have like, like a little summer cold. I haven't been able to smell anything for like a little bit. Totally not COVID, I, I checked. But I was like smelling the lip balms and I actually smelled something for the first time in like two weeks when I smelled this lip balm. And I don't know if it smelled really good or it just made me so happy that I could smell something, but it was like literally the best thing ever. So that is the Jack Black lip balm. Now, if you've been watching this video to see me rate all of my Florence by Mills products, your time is here because I'm about to do that in a second. The first thing that I got, I have been looking for everywhere and currently cannot found, found it in my bed. I'm sorry, everything, I'm sitting on my bed right now and my all of the products that i'm showing you guys are right now on my bed and i literally couldn't find one of my florence products so that was really funny it was like in my blanket lol so the product that i thought i was getting was the dreamy drops the serum the hyaluronic acid serum that I've wanted for a while. I've seen by Florence, I've seen people do it and they love it and whatever. And like I said, Florence, you either like it or you don't. And people's, everybody's skin is different. I know there's products that are better for your skin than others, but like, whatever, yeah. So I wanted the Dreamy Drop Serum and I thought I was reading it correctly and apparently I was not and I should have said I bought two moisturizers by Florence and I thought when I picked out the first one and I knew what the first one was and then I went to get the second one or I went to the first when I got the first moisturizer I put it in I knew what it was whatever and then I went to put the second product in the basket with my sister and she was like why are you getting two moisturizers and I was like because I want them and I didn't read that I bought the moisturizer instead of the serum but I'm gonna try it anyways. I bought, this was my by accident, I bought the Dreamy Do Facial Moisturizer from Florence by Mills. Can we talk about for a minute, please, how beautiful her packaging is? Because if you, I love purple. Like, everything I have is purple. My phone is purple, everything. My watch band, purple, like, I love purple. I love everything purple. Even this color. Like, this color is my favorite shade of purple. Oh my god, Millie Bobby Brown. I am obsessed with you. That's all I got. But I think I'm going to use this and I will, after like a week of using it, I'll do another like update video and tell you guys how it goes, if it works with my skin or not, for all the Florence products I bought. But um, this is the dreamy do facial moisturizer my one i guess ick as you would call it is the fact that it is so tiny like what if i want more product girl hello but i guess because i'm trying it for the first time if i don't like it i guess it's good that i have a little one but i will be going back and getting these Dreamy Drops Serum, that is so many Dreamy Drops, DR, DR, that's like, ooh, tongue twister. That's the word I was looking for. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll go back and get the Dreamy Drops and also tell you guys how it works. But for now, if I don't like it, then we got a little one and that's fine. But if I do like it, I definitely will go back and get it again. But that's the first thing that I got. Like I said, I bought the first moisturizer and I definitely knew what I was doing. Now, 
I will show you what I actually got. I got the Pump To It Florence Moisturizer, which definitely also looked bigger online. I thought it was like a this big thing. It, it is not. It is like small. I mean, she's thick. So it's good that she's thick because that means a lot of product. But this is what the inside looks like. And I kind of like that it's like blue. I keep forgetting that my, like, this is darker and this is lighter. But that's blue. And then the cap just, like, comes on like that. And there's a pump. And I haven't used this yet. I'm definitely, I'm going to use it tomorrow morning. But, um, I will keep you updated on this. And, like I said, I thought it was bigger. But I still do like the blue and the purple. And this I actually did read reviews on and people said it was pretty good. So this is the Pump To It moisturizer. Olive, I would go more into detail on it, but on the Florence products, they don't really show any of the, any of like the ingredients in it. So I'm like trying to read the bottle and I can't find anything. But all it says is to apply to clean damp skin for a.m. and p.m. but I will probably only use it in a.m. because I swear by the Sarah VPM moisturizer so yeah but I'm gonna use this in the morning so in like three days to a week I'll let you let you guys know how all the floor and stuff goes for my face but for right now this is the moisturizer I got Okay, last but certainly not least, recently, I don't know why, but I was so against, not toner itself, but like multi-step skincare products that are just like a lot. I have like a, one of my cousins says that toner is basically like expensive water or like setting spray is expensive water which is really funny because it kind of is with like some little things in it too but like basically it is but I tried toner for the first time like a couple weeks ago clear skin I don't actually know which toner I use it's in a yellow bottle with a black cap I have no idea it's like literally this big but I like it, it makes my face really soft, and it actually cleared my skin up. But I wanted to try the Florence by Mills toner. And originally, I don't know if it was episode one, two, or three, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, all the Florence toners are made by episode, like that's their title. So I wanted to buy, I don't know which episode it was, it was the brightening toner, but like I said, all of the Florence products are purple. The toner that I was looking for is actually pink. I don't know which toner it was, but I was like, that's the one I'm getting. I was so set on it. And also because I'm a Platinum Ulta member, because I'm crazy when it comes to buying all sorts of makeup, I went to Ulta, looked on the app, and they said they did not have the pink one in there, but sometimes the app doesn't update. Didn't get my hopes up, but like still, you never know. So I went on the app, saw that they didn't have it. We went last night. I was looking for the toners. I was like, I'm here for it. They had one more pink one left. It was in the back, but it was somebody had, I don't know if they opened it to see if like, what the cap was or whatever but someone opened it and broke the cap so I didn't want to buy a toner with a broken cap but they did have the episode 2 toner so I got that instead because I wanted to try a toner and when I tell you really quickly when you open these they are so loose so spilling them this will go absolutely everywhere but this is the episode two clear the way toner spotlight toner series is what they're called i love this this packaging so gorgeous like look at that 
that packaging is oh my god it is so pretty i millie bobby brown did it 10 out of 10 for packaging for me i love you literally it's so oh my gosh sorry i love the packaging i used this for the first time last night so far i like it but i don't know how it will like play out in the next week so we'll see about that too but this is what it looks like and it opens i'm gonna try to open this and not have it spill on me but it opens like that and then kind of has a little pump because i love that with my like cotton thingies like my cotton pads just doing that is so cute and i also saw somebody on tiktok it said that when you pump it, it pumps out and it looks like lips. And I did it last night and she actually is right. It does and it's actually super cute. So this is the toner. I'm actually most excited for the toner. To be really honest with you, I, I am most excited for the toner. But we'll see if I like it or not, I guess. I liked it last night, so there's hopes. But also, I like that it's bigger than... Like, it has a lot of product, it's very big, and whatever. But that is my little haul to go back on, like, what everything I got. I got the Garnier Skin Makeup Remover. Forgot what I was saying for a minute. The Tree Hut um, Shower Gel. The Moon Rocks Truly, which I was very excited about. The Jack Black Lip Balm in the flavor Grapefruit. The Dreamy Dew Facial Moisturizer. I had to like totally read it because I had no idea what it was called for a second. The Other Moisturizer. And the Toner. I will be going back and getting the dreamy dew drops because I do want them really badly. And out of my $200 gift card, I spend only 120 bucks. So I think I'm going for it. And I think when I need a little retail therapy in a little while, I'll go back and spend the other 80. But $80 on Ulta is like super, like you can literally get like two things, but it's fine. I still like it anyways. So, that is it i'm going to do a update on my florence adventure 